What's going on guys? This is Jorge Yao and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video. Now today's video is awesome because I get to discuss the new update that's just coming out soon. So as you can see on my screen, we're currently in maintenance break right now and it says there's 15 minutes left. So uh, I keep spamming it just to see if that'll update. But in the meantime, let's talk about the actual changes that are going to go into this update. So, uh, looking at Supercell's change log, it says Spells, Superiority, and Clan Tiebreaker. So, we have Improved Lightning, Poison, Earthquake, and Freeze spells, with a new added Lightning spell level 7, and 25 new wall pieces uh, to Town Hall level 10. Now, 25 new wall pieces to Town Hall level 10 means that Ground Troops will actually be a little bit less effective, which I can assume more people will switch to either Lava Lunian, or drag attacks, they're basically air attacks because as those walls get upgraded and 25 walls is a lot so you know it makes it a lot tougher for ground attackers to uh, to accomplish a 2 star or even win so I can definitely see a lot more players switching to air attack. Now the lightning spell level 7, I'm sure you guys have seen sneak peeks of it, um, it does a lot of damage and unfortunately though as a drag attacker Two lightning spells does not take out one max level air defense. So that being said, uh, with the new spell rework, the with the damage of uh, I think 25% damage to all buildings uh, with the first first earthquake spell, I think my new strategy will be one earthquake spell on the air defense, and then followed by two level seven lightning spells. I think that should do it to be able to take out one air defense. So that means my new true composition will probably be. Two level 7 lightning spells, one earthquake spell, uh, two rage spells, and then the addition of a freeze spell. So that's actually pretty cool because now instead of having three lightning spells and two rage, uh, I can replace one lightning spell with a freeze spell, which comes in huge. Now, um, Clan Wars Total Destruction is now Clan Wars Tiebreaker. That's pretty cool too. I think they should have probably added that in the beginning because, I don't know, ties are kind of weird and it's kind of a no-brainer to have the tiebreaker be the total the total damage percentage, right? So that's kind of a cool thing to add. Uh, let's see what else. The new the appearance of level wall 11 or wall level 11 has been revamped. Now that is pretty cool because I know there's been a lot of community complaints about the the blue electric walls. It doesn't really fit in theme, right? Especially with Town Hall 10. Um, and you know, Town Hall 9, you have the, the lava theme walls, and Town Hall 10, you still have those lava theme walls. But when they came out with level 11, everyone was speculating maybe Town Hall 11 would have like a blue electric theme, but who knows? Like, we don't know when Town Hall 11 is coming out. Um, maybe it's going to be announced during ClashCon, who knows? But anyway, I think that's pretty cool. I haven't seen, I've seen the videos of it. It looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's a major upgrade to the level 11 wall, the current level 11 walls, but you know, I'm excited to see it live in game. Now, in this episode though, what, uh, I'm actually on a one day shield, which I bought right before maintenance break. So the goal of this video is I'm gonna gem basically the entire update. I'm not gonna max my walls, I'm not gonna you know max all 25 of those walls, but I'm gonna try to use as much gold as I have to basically get them to a decent level or as, as, as high as I can basically. Now the recharge lightning spell. Lightning spells level seven ravages buildings and troops alike, okay. Increased damage for lightning spells levels 5 and 6. That's pretty cool because uh, at a lower level at Town Hall 9, that means that you're a little bit more effective than against, um, you know, if you're an air attacker or anything, basically. They're basically making lightning spells a little bit more effective because since the last update when poison spells came out, uh, a lot of people replaced lightning spell with poison uh, to take care of clan castle troops. Uh, so let's see what else. Lightning spell bolts now strike closer together to miss less often. That's huge because as a drag attacker, oftentimes, you know, so here's a pro tip. When you actually try to take out an air defense, I always make sure that I zoom in on the air defense that I want to drop my lightning spells on, just so that I make sure that it doesn't miss. Now, this new update, the uh, having it strike closer together means, you know, I may not have to do that anymore, but just to stay on the safer side, I probably still will zoom in uh, just out of habit, just to make sure that lightning uh, spell definitely hits the uh, the base of the air defense and make sure it takes out. Um, lightning spell level 6 is now available at Town Hall 9. Again, that helps a lot of Town Hall 9 players out there. Uh, they get to use lightning spell level 6, which is buffed. So that's cool. So drag attackers can be able to be more effective uh, on attacks at Town Hall level 9 too as well. 
Now, rework Poison Spell, that's an interesting one. So troops and Poison Spells now take less damage at first, but much more over time. So this greatly affects troops that are really slow moving. So example are Lava Hounds, Golems, um, even Witches, because the Witches kind of stay back while the little Skeleton Dudes come and kind of get spawn or what or whatnot. So um, that actually is huge. And uh, of course, dragons that are in the clan castle, dragons are uh, pretty slow too as well. So to me, that kind of seems like it's more of like a mini inferno tower, uh, so to speak. So it's interesting. I want to see how that works out and how that plays out. Because in my new strategy, I want to replace my poison spell with my earthquake spell to take out that one air defense. But again, that's a risk and return kind of thing. Is it worth it to replace the poison where I can use it on skeleton traps and so on and so forth? Or do I, you know, uh, go with an extra spell and the two lightnings and one earthquake? So we'll see. Uh, poison spells now also reduce the attack rate of defending troops. Also a good, uh, good spell rebalance. Let's see what else. Earthquake spells deal much more damage regardless of the building's current hit points. That's pretty cool. Repeated earthquake spells now deal dim diminishing damage to the same building. So that so that being said, you know, in my strategy, what would I what I would do is I would drop the earthquake spell first, since the first earthquake spell will deal the most amount of damage, and then drop the two lightning spells to take out the first air defense, rather than dropping the two lightning spells first and then the, and to finish off the building with the earthquake spell. So that kind of throws a little change into the mix, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, four earthquake spells will still always destroy any level of wall, so that doesn't that hasn't changed. Uh, there are no longer any special building execution rules for earthquake spells. A building just needs to be reduced to zero HP. Okay, that's cool. Um, so uh, that's that's also a good change. Again, there's an example. So if an earthquake spell has 25% damage, the first earthquake spell cast on a building will always deal 25% of maximum HP thus destroying any building with under 25 HP remaining. So actually, uh, that being said, that actually changes it up a little bit. So if I do the two lightning spells, level 7 lightning spells on the air defense, that definitely brings the uh, maxed out air defense down to less than 25% health. So whichever order I do it in, I think I will still be able to take out a max air defense with two lightning spells, two max lightning spells, and one max earthquake spells. Now, repeated earthquake spells on the same building deal less damage. 25 over 3, 25 over 4, or 25, excuse me, 25 over 5, 25 over 7, etc. This diminishing damage means that it's impossible to destroy buildings only using earthquake spells. So that's cool. I mean, like, it would be kind of uh, OP to have earthquake spells be able to destroy buildings on, on its own, basically. But it's still a cool addition. Uh, I'm glad that they, you know, Put a lot of thought into rebalancing how the spells work but interesting to see how it all plays out in terms of true composition now game balancing free spells no now also affect defending air troops that's pretty huge too uh so i think you'll see a lot less lava hounds in the clan castle for defense um also too that brings me to the second point lava hounds can no longer ta uh, target air troops that is huge for dragon raiders because as a dragon raider, you uh, you know, for my army composition, I only use 11 drags. So when you have a lava hound that kind of stalls three of your drags, four of your drags, that wastes about 30 seconds where defensive buildings can target your dragons and basically take them out and mow them down. So and you know, lava hounds are really good at stalling troops. So lava hounds no longer targeting air troops means that I'll probably start attacking more towards the clan castle side to make sure that I take out the clan castle since if there's a lava hound in there it won't come out so I'll take try to take out the clan castle so that whatever's in there um, will no longer come out because if you destroy a clan castle no matter what's in the clan castle uh, nothing will come out if uh, if it's dead basically so that being said it makes it a little bit easier to two-star bases with heroes because then nothing will come out of the clan castle and all you really have to worry about are skeleton traps so that's kind of the trade-off do i want to keep the poison and not use the earthquake spell because the poison will help me out with skeleton traps uh, with you know trying to get the two-star with heroes but you know i do like being able to have that extra free spell so it's kind of a trade-off i'll have to do some tests luckily i'm on one day shield so you, you guys will be able to see me gem my lightning spell to level seven in this uh video as well as build my 25 walls uh so let's continue game balancing attacking troops will now engage defending troops from further away 
So attacking troops. Uh, so I assume that means um, clan castle troops, I believe, and also probably the the enemy king and queen. Uh, maybe they have uh, a higher radius of, um, I guess, awareness to attack uh, troops that are uh, attacking troops will now engage defending troops from further away. Uh, I don't know exactly what that means. I think there might be a video out for that, but I have to test it and see. I think what it means is like, um, uh, like things have further range. I don't, I don't really quite know because the wording of that me makes it seem like the attacking troops, like when you're on attack, when you're on offense. But to me, uh, logistically or, or logically speaking, I think that it means that like the the troops that come out of the clan castle or especially the defending heroes have will be able to attack troops from further away. But then again, let's uh, we'll, I'll do another video down the road to kind of test that out and see how that goes. Uh, so let's move on from that. Titan 3 and Titan 2 leagues can now buy one week shields from the shop. Now that is super huge because um, you know when you're at the top at Titan 1 or um, in Legends, you know, you rely a lot on uh, the Titan 2s and Titan 3s to be, av to be able to be uh, attacked, basically. And now that they can buy one weak shield, you were going to find less bases to attack, which is not so good as a top level player, because if you're above 4,800 cups, you're basically attacking every base that you see, whether it's one cup, two cup, three cup, whatever. So, but that means that this limits the, uh, the available player pool by a significant amount, because one week shield is a long time. So I don't know if they're going to monitor that and maybe remove that from the shop down the road, but for now, that's a huge hit on uh, cup gains for Titan 1s and especially Legends 2 as well. Uh, so the last change is the army overview button is now also visible from the clan war map. That's pretty cool too. Um, the army overview button uh, is now available from the clan war map. So, you know, I'm not a huge clan war attacker. I will be doing more videos on clan wars, but, um, you know, that's just one of those things that, you know, to me, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's a, kind of a nice to have update or change or feature. So right now, again, so it's down to uh, just a few minutes now. So I'm going to spam it. Uh, see if I can get in as soon as possible. So we'll see. Um, so we're just waiting right now. We're just basically waiting. So we're officially out of maintenance, guys, and this is the moment that you've all been waiting for. So let's see what happens right when we get in. Wow, so first impressions, those walls. So look at those level 11 walls. They look pretty cool, actually. Um, let's see how they compare to the old walls. So a little bit upgrade from the old walls. I think it's a little bit, you know, I like the level, the side lava orangey kind of thing next to it. It's pretty cool. It fits into the theme with Town Hall 10. So maybe when they do Town Hall 11, they might switch back to blue. We'll see. But for now, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, people are, you know, looking for lava loons and, you know, waiting for the countdown. So right now I explained, you know, um, a whale, what a whale dash was in my Road to Legends League. Now, in this episode, I'm not going to be hit spamming that find a match button because I'm actually on a 20 hour shield right now, a one day shield. So, uh, that being said, I'm not really concerned about that and I'm not going to break my shield. So right now, I'm just going to donate the people that are in my, uh, in my clan and help them out because they're all preparing for that countdown, really. Um, so that they can find the first whale that they... Uh, that they can find basically right when they get in. So I'm trying to help them out. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually gem some stuff because that's what we're here for, right? To gem some stuff. So let's see. Um, so you can see shop. I have 25 extra walls, which is pretty cool. We'll do those in a second. Well, let's go to the spell factory and where is my, oh, not my spell factory, my research factory. Let's see where that is. I don't even know where that is in my base. Um, where is it? Where are you? So I can upgrade and there it is, research. So let's see. Level seven, ooh, level six to level seven. So it goes from 510 damage to 570 damage. The cost goes from 24,000 elixir plus 2,000 elixir. So it goes to 26,000 elixir to train one. So let's go ahead and gem that. So it costs 10,000, no, excuse me, not 10,000, that would be a lot of gems, 1,043 gems, uh, because I don't quite have the 8 million elixir, which is the max storage amount, so that just makes up the difference, but let's go ahead and do that, 
Um, do I want to finish it right now? I could finish it right now, but since I'm on 20 hours shield, I'll probably finish it uh, later tonight. So I'll let the timer run down, maybe save a few gems. Actually, what the heck, let me finish it now. Uh, 1,863 gems, let's do it. Finished. So I have level 7 lightning spells, all my spells, all my troops are maxed, that's pretty cool. Um, and there you go, so let's build some walls now. Uh, so where is that? In defenses, walls, so where did that place my wall? So right now I'm really just building all 25 of my walls, and let's see how high I can build them to, or what level I can upgrade them to. So I'm just building walls right now. Just placing them down. Wow, I haven't seen these uh, <laughs> these brown wooden walls in ages, in like years basically. So this is kind of new to me. So I already have 25 walls, there you go. So let's see, uh, select row, let's upgrade them all, 25,000 gold, yes. Let's start to upgrade them all again, 125,000, yes. Let's upgrade them all again, 250,000, yes. 750,000, yes. Uh, 1,875,000 gold. Do I have that? Yes, I do. Okay, so I have purple walls, purple walls right now. Um, do I want to upgrade them a little bit further? Maybe, let's see, do I want to? Uh, how much does that cost if I upgrade them? It costs 5 million, so I would have to fill my gold storage just quite a bit. Uh, with 2,385 uh, gems, I can fill my gold storages and then I can upgrade all those walls to the next level. So let's go ahead and do that actually. Let's uh, let's buy some gold and then there we go. 5 million, boom. Alright, so now they're all purple walls. So let's see how much they are if I upgrade all of those. So select rows. Oh wait, it doesn't let me upgrade all of them at once. Let's see, maybe because I don't have enough gold to do that. So maybe I have to do it one at a time. So I'll do one at a time. Upgrade to level 8, level 8, level 8, level 8. So basically now I'm basically tapped out on gold. And I don't really want to buy another 8 million in, um, actually maybe I do, maybe I do. I'll buy another, uh, I'll buy another set, I'll refill my gold storages again. And let's see if I can upgrade the rest of my wall. Select row. Nope, that doesn't work. Let's see if I have enough gold if I select row. Nope, it won't. So I have to do them one at a time. That's kind of stupid because um, it would be cool to select them all. And then, you know, if you don't have enough gold, you can just gem the rest of it, right? That would be pretty cool. So I don't have enough gold to upgrade all of them to the next level. But I do have enough gold to upgrade most of them. So let's see how many I can do to level 8. Let's go ahead, one by one, wall, 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 wall. So now I have these skull walls, the black skull walls, which are pretty cool too. So I think I have two more levels until I get to at least level 10, which I want to get to. Um, I kind of want to farm most of them though, so let's see. Um, let's finish those off though. So let's buy one more gold refill and let's finish off those walls. And then let's see, how many of these walls can I upgrade to level 9? So now I can use both elixir and gold, but you know, I don't have any elixir left because I used it on me, my uh, lightning level 7. So let's go ahead and um, upgrade these. So one by one, I'm going to upgrade them. Level 9, so these are the Lego walls now. Ooh, I missed one actually. Missed one. So, one million a piece. Alright, so I don't think I'm gonna fill, refill my storages again. I probably just farm those in a little bit. Um, you know, it's actually easy to farm gold when you're raiding uh, at this level because of the loot bonus from, from battles. So hopefully I can farm those later on. Uh, right now I don't really want to waste gems. Uh, too, too many gems actually to get those walls up. Uh, I think those are sufficient for now, and then I'll upgrade those later down the road. Uh, so look, you can see everyone is attacking already, plus 9 first one, plus 19, like everyone's already in, and you know, they're attacking. Um, you know, I don't want to break shield, so I'm just going to watch the action and see. You know, let's watch a replay, Dominic, first attack, 19 cups, town all snipe too, and he gets, gets, uh... Wow, a town all snipe. So the guy probably just wasn't didn't have time to log in, or maybe he thought that 
Um, you know, he could get a snipe and get a really cheap shield out of it. But, you know, Lava Lunian, good attack, um, you know, but guaranteed one star, going for the two star, so not too much of a problem. But a pretty good find for the, uh, the first find. Now, within the first five minutes, you'll find the whale, but then after that, the clouds get really thick again, and then basically the, the window of opportunity for that whale dash that I explained in one of my earlier episodes is over. So he gets the, uh, the 47%, he's pretty much there. Um, he has lower level heroes, so that golem kind of is kind of a pester, really. But uh, she doesn't have any problem taking it down, hopefully. Yep, there you go, and then boom, 50%. So that was actually barely 50% um, for the 2-star, but good good effort, plus 19 cups, which is out awesome. Uh, so let's see. Uh, on my other account, though, on my Yao squad, I actually do not have a shield. So I'm actually attacking on that account, too, and I will show you guys in another video of... Uh, my first whale attack on that account, and then uh, we'll go from there. But this does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, gem some stuff. I think the new update looks cool. Um, and yeah, uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.